Welcome back. It's a question on the mind of every student and parent right now, no matter what level of education. We can tell you plans are beginning to take shape right now for the opening of the coming school year. The State Board of Education just revised the criteria they're going to go by, which is designed to align with Governor Brad Little's Idaho Rebounds plan launched last week. The bottom line, if there are no statewide stay at home orders in place and schools have a physical distancing plan in place, along with cleanliness criteria strictly adhered to, schools will reopen. Obviously, the board added that this is subject to change or adjust depending on what happens in the coming months, but right now they are planning to reopen. So now that we are beginning the first full week of the governor's first phase of the reopening plan. There are a lot of small business owners concerned about people continuing to follow the CDC guidelines as they begin to move about. Take a look at this social media post from a local hairdresser concerned that non-compliance could result in the number of cases spiking and the delay of Phase two for her and tens of thousands of other small businesses would have to be delayed. Her plea is to use your heads, wash your hands, and wear masks. And Andrea isn't alone in her concern and her request. Only a minority of those in public right now are wearing masks. And the question on whether you should or shouldn't be is still being asked. As we've reported, the CDC estimates that N95 medical masks filter out about 95% of particles that people breathe out. But the CDC and others are still urging not to buy those masks because they are so needed by medical professionals on the front line. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't wear one. CDC says cloth masks are, quote, not intended to protect the wearer, but may prevent the spread of the virus from the wearer to others, since you could be carrying the virus and not showing symptoms. And that's why they recommend everyone wears a cloth mask. Medical experts say masks lower the chances of getting sick, especially when they're worn by those who are sick and don't know it. So as stores and more recreational opportunities open, the hope is that we will begin seeing more masks worn by people. The more precautions that are taken right now gives more hope for subsequent phases to roll out on schedule. So hairdressers like Andrea and others can get back to work later this month.